back now to the Tiger locker room. Eli Zarrett is standing by with more I'm from the Tiger. I'm here in the locker room with the architect of it all. I suppose you could say, Jim Campbell, is there any way that you can put into words the gratification and the great sense of, of joy and happiness that you must have? Well, feel? I'll tell you, Eli, it's... Uh, uh, it, uh, the thing that really pleases me so much is that uh, so many people, so many dedicated people in our organization played a part in, in putting this group together. Sparky and the players, the coaches, and our minor league people, uh, people in our front office, and Rick Farrell, Hoot Evers, and uh, Bill LaJoy. I can just go on and on and name people, but it, it takes a lot of people with a dedicated effort to to uh, put a group like this together, and I just want them to enjoy it. What was it like, the the, the the lean years, even two, three years ago, this team was in formation, and yet the belief wasn't around town that it would really happen. Deep down, you must have felt the Sure, I, I felt uh, this, this started, uh, we started really tearing this club apart when Ralph Houck was here, and we brought Trammell and Whitaker and uh, Parrish and Morris and Petrie in, and, and then Sparky came in and uh, really put the uh, finishing touches on it, and and gave it his, uh, oh, I don't know, his trademark. Sparky's just a wonderful guy and a wonderful human being and a, a really a darn good Major League Baseball manager. I think one of the great managers that ever managed in, in this Major Leagues of ours. The type of team you have has really impressed people, too, and it, it becomes corny after a while, but everybody did contribute. You see the little right. guys come through. And I, I hate to be corny about it, but and another thing, Eli, the the uh, the fans play such a part here in Detroit. These baseball fans in Detroit, they don't want silk stockings given away or dishes. They come out here to see a baseball game and they enjoy it and they have fun and and they're angry when they lose. And and that's uh, that's that's the way it should be. You know, very rare is it that a team can repeat. Of course, after this day on, they're going to say, "Can the Tigers come back and do it again?" It seems to me this is the kind of club that may be balanced enough to do it. It is a great challenge, though, to see if you can actually come back and do it well, again. Well, that's true. It's hard to repeat, and uh, these ball players will be the first to tell you. And, and what we're certainly going to try to repeat, and uh, uh, we hope that uh, we can keep it up. <laughs> Jim, thank you very All much. Right, I appreciate it. And now back to you in the studio, Gerald and Deborah. Okay, thank you. Eli looks in pretty good shape. I figured he would have got the wrath of that Tiger winning mischief by now. You're right. Jim Campbell's right. We don't want silk stockings and dishes. Just keep giving us these World Series championships. 